Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Let's talk about something that just bugs me. And I know many of you probably don't care what bugs me. However, this might bug you too and, and really kind of get under your skin sometimes. Do you know someone who just complains about stuff all the time, yet they really do nothing about it? They complain about their spouse, yet they just seem to allow things to continue to happen or they really don't do anything about it. And then if you really look at what they're doing, they could be part of the big reason of it. Or maybe you know someone's complaining about their job in this place now where we really don't have a lot of jobs, but they're complaining about theirs rather than being thankful and grateful they've got one. Or how about this one? Somebody's been complaining and complaining and complaining about a friend of theirs, and yet they're always complaining about this friend, and they're always doing something that they don't like, and yet they're the one that's really creating a lot of the problems, and yet they stay in the friendship. I'm going to tell you right now, there's some big stuff on the horizon right now. We're coming into a time that we're gonna start seeing some huge changes, not only in people, in the way we think, in spirituality, earth changes, climate changes, financial changes. Many of the things we're complaining about are really small potatoes compared to what really has to happen for us to get our act together and be prepared for the future. You know, I've done programs on the Mind Talk program about preparing for the future for disasters and floods and earthquakes, yet people still don't do it. I've talked to people about relationships and how to work on those relationships and what they can do about it, yet many of the people I know just still sit and complain about it. Many people have jobs they can't stand, yet they won't surrender their job. They'll just complain about it and not let someone who wants a job, who really requires a job, have that one while they go create one for themselves. Today, we're going into a holiday weekend. I want all of you, especially if you're a complainer or if you know a complainer, to do something to create change, which takes massive action, not being in a form of denial about it or acceptance about it. Some people hear complaining so much, they become numb to it. They don't really hear it. They just allow it in their life. Other people complain so much because nobody's listening to it. They just get louder and louder. This is negative energy. This is negative focus, and it creates more of the negativity in our life. Today, I want all of you to really, really think about your life. Are you complaining about something and have for a long time yet haven't done anything about it? Maybe it's something as simple as clean out the garage. Just complaining about how messy and dirty it is and how the kids lay their toys here and the bicycles are there. Why don't you go do something about it? Or maybe you're complaining about a loved one or a spouse. The first thing you have to do is take a look at you. What are you doing to complain about that other person or to see that other person as a complainer? What can you do to change your life so that's not in your life? I want you to really focus on your life right now. You know, we do this all the time. One of the things I don't like to see that really has a negative effect on all of us is someone who's constantly complaining about something yet they choose to do nothing about it. Every day when we wake up, we have an opportunity. We have choices. We can make this a good day or a bad day. Complaining about the day is only going to make it more of a complaining day. By taking that complaint and understanding what are we doing to create that in our life and then take affirmative action against that, you're going to see changes. So let's have a good weekend. I'm asking all of you to be safe, have fun, spend time with your family. And if you haven't got immediate family there, spend time with yourself and enjoy yourself. Until next week, I'm wishing you an extraordinary day. And we're not gonna be here on Monday. I'm actually gonna take it off. I'm probably gonna go ride my motorcycle somewhere. However, I'll be back on Tuesday. I can't wait to see you then. Until then, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, non-complaining weekend. Bye-bye.